Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. It has been a while, but I am back and badder than ever with another solo builder. Today we're gonna to be dealing with some Legato in D Phrygian. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so let's break down this legato lick nice and slow. As I said before, we're in the key of D Phrygian. And what I want to do is I want to start off with a hammer on, pull off from three to five, back to three on the third string. Then I'm going to jump to seven of the fourth. So that's the start. And I work into this phrase. And the first sort of four chunks of this are going to be very similarly phrased. Once we get ahead around this, the other chunks will make a lot of sense. So I've got this. What I work through there is I want to play three, five, seven on the third string, obviously all hammered. Then I reverse it. So I'm going to have five notes there. So it's going to go three, five, seven, five, three, all in one pick. And I'm going to hammer back to five and then pull off to three. So it's going to go. And then we're going to resolve that to seven of the fourth string. So all together. I'm just going to sort of shuffle that up to the next part of the scale diatonically. This time I'm going to play 575 as a hammer into a pull off, then jump to 8 of the 4th string, then I work into this. Let's slow that down. I'm playing 5, 7, 8, uh, 7, 5, so rolling forwards and back. And I quickly hammer back to 7, pull off to 5, and then jump to 8 of the 4th string a second time. Sort of go. Both ideas back to back. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the third position now. I wanna play seven, eight, seven on the third string, hammer on, pull off, 10 of the fourth string. And then I'm gonna roll backwards and forwards, seven, eight, 10, eight, seven. Let's put what, together what we've got of that part thus far. I'm gonna hammer back to eight, pull off to seven, and then jump to 10 of the fourth string a second time. Whoop. So now we should have three mini grooves. Next group I do is gonna be exactly the same as the first, but I'm gonna start off by playing eight, 10, back to eight on the third string and then jumping to 12 of the fourth. So position wise, it's gonna feel pretty much the same, but a little bit closer together. So it's slightly easier to play. So going eight, 10, eight, and then jumping to 12 of the fourth. Then I roll forwards and backwards, 8, 10, 12, 10, 8. Another cheeky hammer to 10, pulling off, and then jumping to 12 a second time. All together. Okay, let's put all four position shifts together, and then we'll put the, uh, the little run at the end there as well. The last chunk that I do, just to sort of round it off, has got a bit more of a rolling vibe. Still staying within that D Phrygian scale as well. So what I had here, let's slow that down. I'm playing 8, 10, 12 again on the third string. Obviously, mostly legato. And then I want to play 10, 11, 13 on the second string and then reverse that. So we're going to have a group of five notes there. and I jump to 12 of the third. Okay, at the end of that, I'm gonna play 10, 11, 13 on the second string again. And then I'm gonna have a rolling group of five on the first string playing 10, 11, 13, 11, 10. So we're gonna go. I jump to 13 of the second string and then resolve that on 10 of the first. So we've got from that last little chunk, And that's pretty much the whole exercise. So keep in mind, still in D Phrygian. Let's take it slowly and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. Okay. 
and that was my legato lick in D Phrygian. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll catch you all very soon.